So thinking back to quicksort, we had a recurrence for the average number of comparisons, which looked like this, except it had a 2 here. That's the only difference. However, that makes quite a big difference to the properties of the solution. Let's see what happens. If we try and solve this the same way that we did before, you remember we will write something like this, then we will subtract the same value on the left, but with n replaced by n minus 1, so the analogous thing, and then we have the analogous thing here. We have an n times n minus 1, and here we have an n minus 1 times n minus 2. So everything analogous to the quicksort one, except we don't have a 2 in front of this sum. When we subtract, that makes quite a difference. So we get n a n minus n minus 1 a n minus 1, as we did before. And now we just get uh, a n minus 1, and then we get this n minus 1 times 2, when we subtract here. Reorganizing that, we get n a n equals n a n minus 1 plus 2 n minus 1, whereas before we had an n plus 1 over here, it made it more complicated. Now everything's very simple. Dividing through a n is a n minus 1 plus 2 times 1 minus 1 over n. And that's for n bigger than 1. So we can simply iterate that from the top down, and we're going to get a n is equal to a 1, which is going to end up being 0 anyway, plus twice a sum of something involving 1 minus 1 over i, and i goes from somewhere to somewhere. Well, the first term has got an n in it, corresponds to that. Next one will have an n minus 1. And we'll get down, the last term will be a2 is a1, and we'll have a, a 2 in it, right? So it's going to be the sum from 2 to n of 1 minus 1 over i. Now a1 is equal to 0, so that's going to go away. We're going to get a common factor of 2. Notice that we can add in the extra missing term when i equals 1, because there we get a 1 minus 1, which is 0. Might as well just add that in to simplify things. And now we get a very simple expression. It's just 2 times n minus hn. So it looks like 2n plus lower order terms, because hn, remember, is of order log n. So the average number of comparisons done by quick select on a randomly chosen input permutation is 2n minus a little bit. Asymptotically, it looks like 2n. So, in other words, if you pick a random statistic, order statistic that you want to pick, say I want the kth smallest, and I choose random input permutation, about 2n is what I expect to be the number of comparisons taken. So we know that in the worst case it's bad if you have already sorted input and you want to find the minimum using quick select, it will be very slow. Instead of doing it in n-1 comparisons that you can do for a simple minimum finding algorithm, it will actually take a quadratic number, because it will just do that silly, slow, quicksort partitioning where everything is very unbalanced.